Hi, I'm Robin Higgins, and this is How to Calculate Solubility Using the Systematic Method. All right, so solubility just means whether or not something will go into solution with something else. So if you take a spoonful of sugar and put it into hot water and stir it around, it completely dissolves. So we would say that sugar is soluble in hot water. Um, and usually we kind of talk about it like that qualitatively. We just say, does it go in? Does it not? Uh, but there are real numbers attached to solubility, and we can analyze them quantitatively. So let's look at an example. If we take caffeine, which is just an organic molecule, and we look at its solubility in water at room temperature, H2O, at 25 degrees Celsius, then we can figure out from just experiments that scientists have done a long time ago that it has a solubility of about 16 mg per mil. And so this just means that for every one milliliter of water you have at room temperature, you can have 16 milligrams, so way less than a gram, fit into it. Um, and this is the maximum solubility. So if you add 17 mgs into one mil of water, you're going to see a little bit of white powder left over. That's the caffeine that can't dissolve. So let's look at an example of something we might be asked in chemistry class. A uh, typical question might go, if you have 200 mils of water at room temperature, scientists like to just do RT for room temperature, uh, and you have 0 0.8 grams caffeine, will it go into solution? So basically, is uh, 0.8 grams of caffeine uh, small enough under this limit to fit all the way into the 200 mils of water? So let's figure it out. Well, first of all, we know that for every one mil of water we have, 16 milligrams will fit into it. So if we have 200 mils of water times 16 mg per mil, units cancel out, we're left with 3,200 MIGs that can possibly fit into our 200 mils. So this means that uh, we could do this as a maximum. And so now, if we have our 0.8 grams caffeine and we convert it to milligrams, so remember every 1,000 milligrams is one gram, then we'll get 800 milligrams, which is much less than the maximum which means that, yes, 0.8 grams of caffeine will fit into 200 milliliters of water. I'm Robin Higgins, and this has been How to Calculate Solubility Using the Systematic Method.